welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your infinite pleated skirt gown okay and i'm going to be explaining to you guys how to know the accurate measurements required in order for you to achieve your pleats so what are the basic measurements required you have your waist measurements your hip measurements and your length so my waist measurement is 32 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 10 inches my hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 i have 11 inches now my length is 36 so it is 36 inches because i want this to be a short dress that is why i have 36 inches which is somewhere around my knee area note that if you want yours to be a long dress you can go ahead and increase your length right but i'm going to make it of a short dress so that's why i have 36 inches so we are going to deduct our half length which is the upper part where you're going to have your infinite wrap from the lower part where you're going to have your pleated skirt so my shoulder to waist now is 16 inches i'm going to deduct 16 inches from 36 i have 20 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did we come across you know shoulder to waist to be 16 inches i have a detailed tutorial on size charts and size charts are also available you can place your order for size charts it starts from size 4 to size 28 and it's comprises of different body parts please go ahead and place your order in order for you to have all this in detail so we have 20 inches now 20 plus 2 inches for our emin allowance we have 22 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did i come across shoulder to waist to be 16 inches we have detailed size charts from size 4 to size 28 which is available please go ahead and place your order for yours so now our infinite wrap which is the upper part we're going to have 16 inches while the lower part we're going to have 20 inches so 20 inches now i'm going to add two inches for my sewing allowance i have 22 inches why for the upper part which is our waist we have 16 inches plus one inch sewing allowance we have 17 inches. now for the lower part which is the pleating how will you know the amount of fabric required in order for you to pleat a dress and there are times whereby you are working with fabric you have enough fabric to pleat but where you want to pleat your fabric on you know you've exhausted this and vice versa it has happened to everyone before okay <laughs> So in order for you to know the exact fabric required for your pleats, all you have to do is multiply your hip measurement by three. So let's say for an example, my hip measurement is 40 inches. So my hip measurement is 40 inches. All I'm going to do is multiply 40 inches by three. I'm going to have 120 inches. It simply means that the amount of fabric required for the width is going to be 120 inches, while for the length is going to be 22 inches. But if you don't want your pleating to be too full or you don't have sufficient fabric you are working with, all you have to do is multiply your hip measurement by 2.5. But if you have enough fabric you are basically working with please go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by three to give you the amount of fabric you need for your pleats give you the amount of fabric you need for your pleats so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your pleated infinite wrap dress i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe trainings are available both online training and physical training please don't forget to drop your questions in the comment sections or any topic you want us to make a video on. So now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. So guys, now we want to make our balloon skirt. Now, the reason why we call this balloon or pleated skirt is because this form of pleated skirt is actually short. You can see it's short and we are also going to add our lining to it. So you can have like this puffy ball, ball dress effect. So for the length of my pleats now, for the length I have about 18 inches. Like I said, this is a very short form and it's going to give you like that ball effect. However, you can increase yours and you can reduce yours. It depends on the effects that you want to have. So if you don't want it to be this short, please go ahead and take the length, your desired length. I am going to have the same effect. Now for the width of this fabric, all you have to do is to multiply your hip measurement by three to give like a very full effect and like i said we want to achieve 
your ball effect so my hip now is 40 inches multiplied by three i have 120 inches now you can see this is folded into two so all the way round i have 120 inches and for the length i have 18 inches so this is what it looks like you go ahead and just set this aside the next thing you are going to cut out now is your band because of course your pleated skirt is supposed to have a band so for the length of the band is simply your waist measurements plus your sewing allowance so i'm going to go ahead now and measure my waist measurements is 36 i'm going to add about four inches to it because including my sewing allowance and also my zip allowance so 36 i'm going to go ahead and cut out 40 inches so I'll go ahead now and cut out 40 inches. So this will serve as my band. So now we have 40 inches folded into two. We have 20 inches. For the wideness of your band, it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. But for me, I just want to have like a very tiny band. This is optional. So on a single fold this way i have five inches once i fold it into two i'm going to have about two inches this is what it's going to look like but you can increase yours or reduce it so i'll go ahead and iron my paper stay to this band just to give it like a very nice structure so guys this is our band i've gone ahead to iron paper stay to it so basically the reason why you iron paper stay to your band is just to give it like more structure so that it can stand well so i'll go ahead and trim off this excess paper stay now for the lower part which is where you have your pleating i've also gone ahead to aim this lower part so what you are going to do now is to basically attach your pleating to your band you go ahead and pleat this this way and the best way for you to pleat is to make use of your gathers foot i'm going to insert the video here please go ahead and you know learn how to use your gathers foot and gathers foot are also available you can place your order follow the details in the description box to reach out to us so basically just pleat all this fabric now on the band i'm going to go ahead and pleat all this fabric on the band once i'm done pleating it you can see like from this alone you can see what it's going to look like you can see how cute it's going to fall and drip nicely so once i'm done pleating this i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys <laughs> we've gone ahead now to pleat you know I'll gather up the pleated parts on the band and you can see how cute it is now another thing that makes your dress looks like a ball dress you know you want your pleating to stand to be very full is you go ahead and line it you can see how I turned it with lining and when you turn it with lining it just makes your work to be very neat and then it eliminates like any form of stitching on the waistline and it just gives your job like a very neat finishing not just that when you turn your pleating with lining especially for ball skirts like this it makes it stand you can see how it stands because it's adding more structure to it so basically what you are going to do now is at this part now we just go ahead and fixing our zip we just go ahead and fix our zip and couple this part up so just fixing your zip and you couple this and your skirt is ready you can see allow your skirt is ready so that's if you want it to you know stop as a skirt but eventually you want to add your infinite to it you want it to also serve as a gown you want to rock it both ways now we'll go ahead now and attach your infinite wrap for this infinite wrap right for this infinite wrap the wideness of my wrap i have 12 inches after folding it i have about 10 inches so what i'm going to do now is actually very simple take one piece of your infinite wrap attach it to the front block of your skirt you know just stitch it this way to the front side of your skirt and of course you have two pieces for your wrap the length of your wrap totally depends on how long you want it to be so take the second piece also and then you attach it to this part of your skirt so 
looking at this now you can have an idea of what it looks like so let me go ahead and couple this up so we have a pleated balloon this way at the lower part and you can see what it looks like you know and then you just attach your infinite wrap it's actually very easy and thanks so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so for your back blood basically you just have like your skirt and your wrap is only at the front piece this way i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!